Hey Taurus, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and we are about to do a July check-in, okay? A July check-in to see what's been going on. Now, I've tried to do this reading a couple times, and it keeps coming out the same way, so I give up, okay? I give up. I was hoping that this whole thing was cleared up, this whole reuniting reconciling past relationship thing that has been plaguing us for a while now right i've been hoping that it would clear up so we can move on to bigger and better things however it's coming back around okay so this reading i'm going to give you a recap real quick okay i'm going to give you a recap oh and i'm doing this on video because i've had a lot of people say oh my god i want to see your face while you're doing the reading so i'm going to do it this way this time it's not always going to be this way but today it's this way okay so these cards came out in one big huge stack okay i laid out the spread i pulled out all the clarifying cards and i said you know spirit can you can you give us just an overall breakdown of what's going on here and lo and behold these came out so this is what's going on here you guys okay okay there is somebody a knight of wands character okay could be somebody that's in and out all the time could be a fire energy sag leo aries could be just simply somebody that's bringing you passionate messages somebody's bringing you passionate messages about the future about moving forward okay about moving forward slowly and potentially um burying the hatchet and moving forward to create the nine of cups wishes fulfilled comfort happiness and satisfaction giving and receiving sharing on a daily basis the moon card comes in and talks to us about fear and anxiety okay and I don't think it's fear although it might be initially like white knuckle like holy shit I can't believe this is actually happening kind of fear but it's mostly anxiety and it's mostly you trying to come to terms with what is transpiring right here because some swift communication has come into you, some swift communication has come into you from this um, um, Knight of Wands. <laughs> some swift communication has come into you from the Knight of Wands about, about moving forward together, slow, steady, moving forward to create the Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction, right? To give and receive and share with one another. The Moon card says there's confusion, anxiety, trying to see things clearly because some swift communication has come in. Some swift communication has come in about resurrecting something from the dead. Can you freaking believe it? Oh my God resurrecting something from the dead from good old six of cups somebody from your past who wants to reunite or reconcile somebody that you have left out in the cold in the past who now wants to recover from spiritual poverty with you <laughs> and bring hope and faith purpose and renewal to the relationship that is the overall that's what's going on here Taurus that's what's going on that's exactly what's going on right so passionate messages about creating stability wishes fulfilled comfort happiness satisfaction giving and receiving with one another sharing creates confusion anxiety uh, maybe a secret is exposed. Something in this moon card makes you hit your intuition and your subconscious mind trying to figure out what the hell's really going on here. This communication comes in swiftly about resurrecting something from the dead with somebody from your past who you left out in the cold at one point but now wants to come out of spiritual poverty and have hope, 
faith, purpose, and renewal of the relationship. Okay, that's the overall. Now let's get into the, to the actual cards cards, okay? So your reading begins with justice. There is some kind of justice happening here. There is karmic justice happening here. Where, there, where you were wronged, you are, there's now going to be a correction. Where there was an injustice, there's now going to be justice in this situation, right? Here's this old Prince of Pentacles again, right? Somebody's coming in, wanting to stabilize the relationship. Slow, steady stabilization and plan down the road for the future. So this card is about this card is about surveying the landscape, okay? This knight's job is to survey the landscape. All knights are changes, right? Princes, knights, same thing. They're, they all bring change. And the change, the, the change for this card is slow change, right? His job is to survey the kingdom, to make sure the fences are tight, to make sure the crops are growing, the workers are working, everybody has the resources that they need to do their job right? And that's what you're doing in this card. You're surveying the landscape. You're looking at what's on offer here and you are checking your list. You're, you, you, you are surveying the landscape. Clarified by the Four of Pentacles. You're surveying the landscape to see if this offer that is on the table is number one, something that can bring stability, control, and security to the situation. But number two, it has you in self-protection mode, right? Has you in, in very much a self-protective mode. Because in the past, there was a lot of conflict, a lot of conflict clarified by the Seven of Swords in Reverse. The Seven of Swords in Reverse is about um, betrayal, deception, deceit, and shady behavior. And in the reverse, it's about mental challenges, okay? It's also about breaking free. So what's going on here is that you are in self-protection mode, evaluating the situation with the King, the Prince of Pentacles, right? You're evaluating the situation because just a minute ago, there was nothing but conflict, right? Conflict that you had ended a long time ago, according to our other readings, right? According to that stack of cards I just showed you, it was put to, to death, right? But now you're being asked to break free from the mental challenges. And all you can think about is the deception from the past. And now you're at being asked to break free from the mental challenges. Seven of Cups comes in. Well, yeah, Seven of Cups comes in and says you're confused. Not only are you confused, but now you have options and choices to make. Not only are you confused and you have options and choices to make, but you're wondering if this is just illusion, right? What is really the motivation here? is what you need to ask yourself. What is the motivation? All you can do is be in the Five of Cups and remember the despair, the disappointment, the regret that happened last time, right? And I want to point out that there's three cups here, okay? Three cups, which kind of leans towards a third party situation, in my opinion, right here, right now with this card, right? So in the past, you had feelings of disappointment, regret, and despair in regards to this situation. And now it's all resurfacing, right? Because you had put it to bed. It was killed with the Ten of Swords. It was over, dead and gone. And now this person is, is bringing you messages of trying to resurrect things and reunite and reconcile. And Taurus is like, eh. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. Should I? I don't know. What are your motivations here? This Five of Cups is clarified by the Three of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. So this tells me that you are being asked to forgive and forget the heartbreak from the past, release the pain, give forgiveness, and have optimism because there's messages that are coming in about, about all talk and no action from the past, undelivered promises in the upright. This is, this is small communication coming in 
about forgiving, forgetting, and having a new start, trying to prioritize and balance this relationship with the Two of Pentacles. But all you can do is be the Five of Cups, right? You're like, fuck me, really? What is going on here? So, this is all about commitment. Now, this is the card of Taurus, of course, the Hierophant. But it's about commitment, right? I can't tell you how uncomfortable I am doing this on camera. I really can't, so I'm giving it a good go, okay? So this is all about commitment. Good old King of Wands. He has been haunting us for months, right? So this King of Wands wants some commitment from you, Taurus. This King of Wands is coming in, wanting to reunite, reconcile, bury the hatchet, and resurrect something from the dead. This puts you in the hermit energy, right? Soul searching, introspection, doing some serious, seeking some serious inner guidance, right? Because of the magician in reverse. The magician in reverse is about manipulation, right? And you're feeling that perhaps, again, with the seven of cups right here, right? Perhaps this is illusion. Perhaps you are being manipulated. Perhaps this isn't the whole story. And there is some motivation here that you probably really need to get a handle on, right? What is the motivation here? Are you being manipulated? Because the Seven of Swords says there was shady behavior in the past. I mean, you know, this creates a tower moment for you. A, a serious tower moment, right? Uh, and, and I don't think it's a revelation or an awakening, although I think epiphany might be appropriate. But this is upheaval and chaos in your mental and in your emotions, right? Upheaval and chaos in your mental and in your emotions. To the two of swords, right? Number one, re blocked and repressed emotions. Number two, indecision, a crossroads. Number three, confusion. Three of wands in the center of your reading. This is about preparing having foresight, getting ready to expand. It's also about thinking. And I think with this card, you're thinking, and this is in the center of your reading. So this whole reading revolves around this card. You are giving it a thought, right? You're standing on the edge. You see the ships coming in and you're just going to give it some thought. And again, you know, again, I want to reiterate three. So you're giving it some thought. What you're thinking about is, will this be victory, progress, and success? Will it be victory, progress, and success? Because in reverse, this card is about a fall from grace and disrepute, which is what happened in this relationship the last go-round, right? So you're giving it a good think with the Three of Wands to the Ten of Pentacles, right? Ten of Pentacles, loneliness and loss from before, right? But now they're offering a brand new start and an opportunity to build something of substance with each other. And you're giving it a good think, a good hard think. We have the magician again, right? This time it's in the upright. This is about manifesting. This is about taking inspired action, okay? So that's what you're thinking about with that Three of Swords. You're thinking about victory, progress, success. You're thinking about the Ten of Pentacles, potentially building something with this person. Is it, it could, could it possibly be? Could it be that things have changed? Alchemist says you're thinking about taking inspired action. Two... The Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving and sharing your life with this person in a relationship. 
But I got to tell you something. These cards right here clarify the entire situation. They clarify the whole situation. Hold on just a second. Coffee. All right. So these cards clarify the whole situation. What these cards are saying right here is this. God, it's so hard to do it backwards. So hard to do it backwards. Okay. Strength. Yeah, it's about strength. It's about courage. It's about inner courage. It's about trust. But this strength is card is talking to me today, right now, about a power play. There is a power play in this situation. In a Two of Cups love situation. The Queen of Pentacles, you, Taurus, finds there to be quite a challenge when it comes to the Queen of Wands, who is also this King of Wands, who is bringing you this offer, okay? I also want to point out, I've been pointing out threes the whole time, I also want to point out that this Queen of Pentacles could be challenged by a third party situation because the Queen of Pentacles in my reading, I'm sorry, the Queen of Fire in my readings, this Queen of Wands oftentimes represents a third party situation, right? Oftentimes represents a third party situation. And we've seen overtones of threes in here through this whole reading, okay? And I think that is perhaps where the deception and the shady behavior from the past comes from, where the pain and the broken heart and the ending come from. Some kind of third energy or third party situation. It doesn't have to be throw it away if it doesn't fit for you, okay? But these cards are saying that there's some kind of a power play in a Two of Cups relationship with this person because the Queen of Pentacles has a challenge with the Queen of Pentacles. And these three cards right here are saying one of two things. Either this Queen of Pentacles has a power play challenge with the King of Fire, the Queen of Fire, who is the King of Fire who's bringing this into you, or the Queen of Pentacles is challenged by another party in the situation. Could be both could be one or the other, right? Anyway, that I think is the crux of the entire problem here. I think it's the crux of the entire pro problem. You're going to need strength because there's some kind of power play in a love situation between the Queen of Pentacles who is challenged by the Queen of Wands. Take it, has how it, how, take it, how it lays, okay? All right. <coughs> Sorry. Come down here to the sun card, right? Beginning to see things clearly and knowing that maybe this situation could bring you happiness, vitality, and success. Clarified by the Hierophant, Taurus, being commitment to the Four of Swords, contemplating hard to the Empress, Taurus again, about creating abundance, about creating abundance in this relationship. What this Empress tells me though, is that you aren't who you used to be, okay? This Empress tells me that you aren't who you used to be. You have, you have a new perspective about this person, okay? This empress, she's not fragmented anymore like perhaps you were in the past. This empress, she has her security together. She has her feels in check. She has her mental in check and she has her passion in check. This empress tells me that you are not going to repeat mistakes from the past, okay? Because you, you're not fragmented 
You're not just the Queen of Wands. You're not just the Queen of Cups. You're not just the Queen of Pentacles. And you're not just the Queen of Fire. <coughs> you are the whole package now. You have grown, matured, and you've learned some things about yourself through this entire ordeal that's been going on forever. Four of Pentacles comes in and tells me the same thing that it told me up here. Remember, this Four of Pentacles was the third card out. That tells me the same thing, right? You're, you're wondering if this is going to bring control, stability, and security into your life. And you're also on lockdown, right? Lockdown. Um, Self-protection mode. Trying to see through what's really going on here. Prince of Cups. This is the metaphorical knight in shining armor. This is the king of wands, potentially that queen of wands. This is the message. Hold on. <coughs> <coughs> See, I told you. Sorry. <coughs> okay. This is the, the, um, the prince of cups, the metaphorical knight in shining armor. This is the message that's coming through from this person. A cup of love, right? Here's my cup of love. Will you come be mine? This Prince of Cups is clarified by dun, 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 the Seven of Swords. Betrayal, deception, lies, cheating, shady behavior, trying to get away with something. To the Three of Swords. Heartbreak, grief, painful separation. The Eight of Wands, wanting swift change, right? Communication, coming in about forgiveness, having optimism, and starting over. The Ace of Cups, all kinds of feels flying around, all kinds of feels flying around from both directions, all kinds of feels. Aces are also ones which are about new beginnings. That's what this message is about. It's about having a new beginning in a relationship that was dead and gone. And temperance comes in. This is about healing. It's about finding purpose in this situation and healing. And lo and behold, a brand new beginning and a brand new journey is on the table. Brand new beginning, brand new journey with this person. Followed by the Wheel of Fortune, a turning point in your destiny. And I want to point something out here, okay? If you step off of a curb and get hit by a bus, that is a turning point in your destiny, okay? So just because this card comes up as a, as a turning point, doesn't necessarily mean that it is the be all to end all and you are going to be successful for the rest of your life. It's not what this card means. It is simply in this reading right here, right now, it is a turning point in your destiny. Which way it's going to take you, I guess that's free will. The wheel is followed by the King of Swords. This is a decision. Taurus, what decision are you going to make here? What decision are you going to make? Free will. It's totally and completely up to you. Which way are you going to go? Are you going to go back into this relationship where there was deception and betrayal and anxiety and conflict and feelings of loss, despair, regret? Are you going to go back into this and forgive and forget everything and have a brand new beginning with this person? Or, or are you going to see through, are you going to see, I can't say are you going to see through the bullshit because everybody's different, right? One person doing this could be completely and totally genuine, and the other person doing this could be doing it completely and totally for self-serving purposes. So the decision is yours, Taurus. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What I'd like to do, two things. Two things. 
So uh, number one, three things. <laughs> I am going to go through and I'm going to speed read this, okay? I'm not going to show you the cards. I'm just going to go through. I'm going to read this super fast just so we get a, a handle on it. And then I'm going to roll the dice and see what the time frame is for this. And then I'm going to pull all these cards together and we're going to get some advice from Spirit, okay? Speed read. So the overall theme of this reading is that the Knight of Wands is bringing in passionate messages about planning for the future, about moving this relationship forward, okay? <clears throat> Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. The Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving. The Moon card comes in and either says a secret is being revealed that is going to create healing in this relationship, or this Moon card is you giving it kind of the fish eye and, and really trying to see what the real motivations behind all of this is. The Eight of Wands, this is swift communication, action, and energetic movement in this relationship. To the Ten of Swords, a relationship that was dead and gone that is now trying to be regenerated. To the Six of Cups, somebody from your past wants to reunite or reconcile with you. To the... Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that you left out in the cold in the past that now wants to recover from spiritual poverty in the situation to the star card. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Justice, com justice comes in in the beginning of this reading, right? This is karmic law, universal justice, cause and effect. Where there was unfairness, there is now fairness. And it's interesting that it begins with justice, but ends with the king of swords. So the justice, my friend, is in your hands. That's the justice, right? The truth coming through is that this person wants to regenerate things with you, but the justice is up to you. Either you get justice because this person came back and apologized and wants to make thing, or things right, and that's your justice, or your justice is being able to tell this person to fuck off. One way or another, you get justice, okay? Justice. To the Prince of Pentacles, um, moving forward planning for the future, assessing the situation is what you're doing in the Four of Pentacles. Assessing the situation to see if this will bring any kind of, of security into your life, into the relationship, but you are on lockdown self-protective mode while you're doing it, okay? Five of Swords, because number one, it creates a lot of conflict. Number two, in the past, there was a shit ton of conflict because the Seven of Swords in reverse says that, that you are being asked to break free of mental challenges associated with betrayal, deception, and shady behavior. To the Seven of Cups, lots of confusion, choices, options, trying to see if this is something that is illusion or not, right? Five of Cups, disappointment, despair, grief, right? Because in the past, three cups have been spilled, right? Three have been spilled and, and you're just wondering if it's even worth it at all. You're being asked with the Three of Swords in reverse to come out of sorrow and heartbreak and grief, to have forgiveness and optimism for the future. The Page of Swords says that in the past where there was all talk and no action and undelivered promises, now you're being asked <coughs> now you're being asked to move forward in the relationship to the Two of Pentacles to create prioritization and balance in this situation. What is this situation? It's the Hierophant. It's all about commitment. This King of Wands, it's about commitment with the King of Wands. Puts you in the Hermit energy, soul searching and introspection, seeking some inner guidance. Because with the Magician in reverse, you are, are, are being self-protective of potentially some manipulation that could be going on here, right? And you're doing some soul searching and some introspection to see if you're being manipulated. Because this person in the past has been shady before, okay? They've been shady before, and now you're doing some soul searching to see if this is real or if you're being manipulated again. Creates a tower moment, right? Chaos, upheaval, 
in your in your life just chaos and upheaval because you had this boxed up and put away you had this boxed up and put away compartmentalized and segmented in your life it chalked up as a painful lesson and you're trying to move on right two of swords says lots of confusion repressed emotions blocked emotions confusion to the three of wands <coughs> This three of wands is about you giving it a think. It's about you sitting still for a minute and thinking about if you can have victory, progress, and success with the six of wands, where in the past there was a fall from grace and disrepute to the ten of pentacles. In the past there was loneliness and loss. Now is it something that you can build? The alchemist comes in says what you're thinking about doing is taking inspired action to the six of pentacles to give and receive and share with this person on the regular but strength comes in and says that there's a power play going on or has gone on this is the root of the issue from the past and this is where the shady behavior the lies the deceit the deception there is some kind of power play going on in a in in the two of cups okay let's just read it straight up you're going to need strength in a two of cups relationship because the queen of pentacles you is very challenged with the seven of wands by the queen of wands this queen of wands is either this king of wands that's making you this offer or this queen of pentacles is challenged by a third party situation from the past being the queen of wands put it where it goes sun card comes in and says that you are beginning to see that maybe this could bring you some success vitality happiness right the hierophant again commitment four of swords thinking about it hard right to the empress you're you aren't who you used to be okay and this person may not expect this empress to step forward because they're still thinking that you are just a piece of the pie right they're thinking you're 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 the same old queen of pentacles or the same old queen of cups or the same old queen of fire or the same old queen of swords right and regardless of your sign it doesn't give it doesn't fucking matter what your sign is okay this person might not be expecting this empress to step up to the plate they're expecting somebody much inferior to the empress to step up to the plate and lo and behold here you are as the empress right for a pentacle still on lockdown though still on lockdown about the prince of cups about this knight in shining armor this offer of romance and and charm and feelings and relationship seven of swords on lockdown and self-protective mode because you don't trust this person you don't trust them okay this whole reading says you don't trust their motives to the three of swords because they broke your heart once before eight of wands and now all this communication is coming in about the ace of cups about a new beginning in love feelings flying everywhere and temperance comes in says that a variety of things says you're being patient you're exhibiting temperance when it comes to responding to this or making a decision about this new offer that's come in it also says that you're trying to find purpose in this situation and it also tells me that you are exploring any kind of healing that has happened here the fool card a brand new beginning and a brand new journey to the wheel a turning point in your destiny one way or another and then the king of swords what are you gonna do what are you gonna do the decision is yours what are you going to do are you going to go forward with this or are you going to cut this out free will the tarot can't possibly give us outcome on this there is too much free will involved in this situation so what are you going to do what are you going to do all right let's do the dice so let's see let's see sorry guys the camera cut off so let's do the dice let's see Let's see what the dice is. 
Spirit, I know time means nothing to you. But time is everything to us, right? Time is everything to us. Spirit, when is it that Taurus can expect this offer of reuniting and reconciliation to manifest in their life? Got a six and a two. So this is eight. Interesting. Eight is movement, action, change, and a rebirth. Okay? So eight days eight weeks, eight months, you can expect to see movement, action, change, and rebirth in this situation. Let's break it down to a six and a two. Six is communication and problem solving, and two is balance at a, and a crossroads or a choice. So I'm going to say six days, six weeks, six months until the initial communication comes in about reuniting and reconciling and then i'm going to say two additional days weeks or months after that before you have to make an actual decision about how you want to move forward with this whole thing so a six and a two eight eight days eight weeks eight months six days six weeks six months before the actual communication comes in another two days two weeks two months thereafter before you are at a crossroads and you need to make a decision with the king of swords okay all right Let's do some outcome for us, okay? Let's do some outcome. Spirit, <clears throat> thank you for those messages. Thank you for the messages. Thank you for the eyes to see, the ears to hear. Thank you for um, everything, Spirit. You never, ever cease to amaze me. Spirit, what is the advice here? What is the outcome advice for Taurus? What is your advice for Taurus right here in this situation, Spirit? What is... Holy cow. All right. Got these. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. Ha. <laughs> ah. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. All right. These are what came out. Okay. Let's go through them one by one. So we have the page of pentacles yes spirit there is an offer on the table to manifest a new opportunity to the seven of pentacles the advice about this offer that's on the table is to reflect and assess okay seven is the number of reflection assessment motives perfect order observation investigation Okay, Spirit is urging you to reflect and assess on this offer that's on the table. Will investing in this bring you the profit and reward that you would expect? Is it going to bring you the Ten of Cups? Is it going to bring you happiness, harmony, and values alignment in this relationship? Is this an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth? Is this person toxic for you? Okay? Spirit is advising you to reflect and assess if this is going to be a Ten of Cups relationship or not. Right? Is this an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth? Is this toxic? Can you expect victory, progress, and success from this situation? Can you? The Page of Swords, where there was all talk, no action, and undelivered promises in the past. Can you expect this new communication to be anything different? Can you? This Knight in Shining Armor who's bringing messages of romance and feelings to you, who wants a turning point in the relationship. This person from your past who wants to reunite and reconcile. This person from your past who you've left out in the cold before who now wants to recover from spiritual poverty in this relationship. 
is the challenge. The challenge is can you? Can you forgive and forget? Can you bury the hatchet? Can you go forward in this relationship and wipe the slate clean? That's the question. That's the question. Assessment and reflection on if this is a toxic relationship for you or not. Because it's going to be a challenge for you to, to let it all go. It's going to be a challenge. Can you? Can you do that? Can you? That's the question. Can you do that? Can you let it go? There you go, Taurus. That is your reading. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too awkward being on camera. Um, I know it's taken forever. Um, it's God, this reading's like almost 45 minutes long. But anyway, that is your check-in for the month of July. I do hope I helped. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. I just put out a little six-minute video, a public service announcement about the $50 readings, but I'll say it here as well. Um, if you are a current client of mine, if I've ever given you a tarot card reading, you have to do nothing. Don't do anything. You are already in the $50 for life reading club. Okay. If you would like to be a client of mine and secure $50 pricing for tarot card readings forever, um, schedule a reading by August 1st. You can schedule it out through the end of the year. So you can schedule for August, September, October, November, December, right? And you get one reschedule because who knows if you're going to want a reading on October 13th, right? Who knows? So you have one reschedule that you can do. You can give them for gifts. You can give them, you can use them. I don't care who shows up on the other end of the line, okay? doesn't matter to me. I'll do a reading for Joe Blow. It does not matter to me. So if you want to become a client of mine, schedule a reading before August 1st to lock in your $50 pricing. You can schedule it for any day until the end of the year. But if you want to be locked in, schedule before August 1st, okay? All right, awesome, you guys. I hope that helped. And there's a link in the box below that will take you to $50 readings until August 1st, okay? All right, namaste.